This is the High Energy Photon Source, or HAPS, a new Chinese particle collider currently in the finishing stages of construction. What is it for? Well, scientific research, of course, but potentially also for manufacturing. Wait, what? To understand what's going on, we have to look at how modern integrated circuits on semiconductors are manufactured, aka microchips for computers and smartphones, etc. In a process called photolithography, light is used to print the desired patterns on the semiconductors, which can then be etched out by chemicals. This requires an immense amount of technical knowledge and experience. In fact, there is only a handful of companies worldwide which can produce these machines. All future tech requires smaller and smaller microchips, so this is the key technology of any modern economy. Unsurprisingly, you can't do photolithography with just a regular light bulb. You need very energetic light. Also, the smaller the chips become, the smaller the wavelength of the light must be. And uh, this is becoming a big problem, as the current demand is shifting to EUV, extreme ultraviolet light, which is very difficult to create. Unless you have, let's say, a particle collider, the HAPS near Beijing will be able to generate light in the X-ray and extreme ultraviolet spectrum once it becomes operative. And there are plans to use this as source for manufacturing high-end computer chips. First, in an experimental test run, and later maybe even long-term for regular production. And all of this sounds completely wild at the moment, because particle colliders are not easy to build and not easy to run, so I'd really like to see that business case. But, as you might know, China is under US sanctions for certain high-end technologies, so they might be forced to be creative. Subscribe for more.